what do you got on Gonzalez? Yeah, so on Gonzalez, um, I like him a lot as well. Uh, with him, 12 games last year, 51 tackles, 4 picks, 7 PBUs. To me, I think he is the smoothest and most well-rounded guy of the group. You watch him in his pedal. It's like he's effortless out there, man. Just smooth with it. Uh, uh, uh. And that's whether he's in press coverage or off coverage. Because, like I said, the reason why I feel like he's the most well-rounded is because of that dynamic. When I watch PZ Jr., I'm like, yo, zone. When I watch... Uh, there you go. When I watch um, Witherspoon. Witherspoon, I'm like, yo, man. But when I think of Gonzalez, I'm like, yo, I feel like you give me that that little bit of in between. A little bit taller to me than um than Devin, and a little bit shorter to me than uh than PZ Jr. But then after that, I I just feel like he's always under control as well. Um I don't feel like he plays too fast for himself. When I watch PZ Jr. at times, I question the handsiness. Is he kind of out of control because he's rapidly trying to catch up to these guys? When I think of um, Devin, at times when I see him chasing into something that's stretching the yard a little bit, it's like, all right, he looks like he's just working a little bit too hard. But with Gonzalez, I don't really see that a lot from him. So I do like that. He's also a physical player as well. He will hit you. Not to the same level of Devin, but he's a good tackler. He, he will form tackle you as well, which I do like. And he has really nice ball skills. Like, I think Devin has the better ball skills. But to me, I think he's second in line in terms of how he attacks the ball and how he just is able to create turnovers. And obviously, that's the knock right now on Joey Jr. He doesn't have those turnovers that the other two guys have. But I think that he attacks the ball well. He's another guy that gets his head around extremely well, which is important at this level. Because we know if you don't turn your head around and that ball is up in the air and you're 30 yards down the field, they're going to throw the flag every time. It's that simple. But to see all three of these dudes getting that head around, I love that. But Gonzalez, he does a really good job of that. And I just think that he has good size. You know, like I said, that 200-pound frame, man, like, he looks he looks built. It's proper. When you talk peasy, the reason why I look so wiry, 6'2", I kind yeah, of think it's rangy. almost 6'3", but it's like a buck 98, buck 95. It just is it's long. You know, he looks like a runner. And then when you talk about um, Devin, he's compact. 6'1", but it's a buck 80, so it still doesn't look the same as when you're looking at this 6'2", 200-pound, like, guy over there. Like, it just looks NFL ready. So I do like that a lot. Now, in terms of the cons on him, I don't have a lot. The one part was more consistent in his run support. I think that he's another one of them dudes that it's like, all right, don't don't be a picking and choosing type of dude. If you're gonna if you're gonna play against the run, play against the run. Don't don't pick and choose with me. And the other thing is definitely the jump ball. Because I did get a chance to see him versus some potential NFL talent. They played Georgia earlier in the year. Yeah, he had one of them go up top on him. Jump. Not surprising. Yeah. Georgia do it there already though, but it was one of those. And even watching that game, it was like he was he was holding his own, but it was still some stuff where I'm just like, all right. These are the challenges because that guy that you're watching right there, that's more like what you're going to be seeing on Sundays than some of these teams that you playing out there in the Pac-12, you know? And that was the only thing that I was like, all right, I, I, I. but I still like him a lot, though. Right. Yeah. That happens. Mm -hmm. That can happen. Yeah. And teams aren't tossing up 50-50 mm -hmm. balls all the time either. Yeah. Like, that's not usually a right. recipe for offensive success. Yeah. Those are... Like one off, it's just yeah. hey, I believe in I believe in the guy. My we need a big play. Let's yeah. make a big play. And at that position, is literally pass or fail in those situations. Yeah, you know you can't get a oh he caught it, but it wasn't a dunk on, it wasn't a touchdown, it wasn't a bite. It's like yeah, at that position, yeah, you either a hundred percent right or you hundred percent wrong. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that's not that bad of a criticism. Yeah, right now. At no, least. I'm with you on that. It can't become a uh, can't become a reoccurring. But that game. is, I guess, that is yeah. one thing to point out. Hey man. Well, when uh, I'm talking pros and cons, I at least wanted to have yeah. some type yeah, of con. Yeah. Like I said, not something to consider. Right. It's and not, that's not a bad one though. And with all three of those guys, it's not a ton of negatives. Like when we talk PZ Jr., what did I say? He doesn't have as many turnovers and he plays a little bit high at times. The handsy part. When we talked Witherspoon, it was like, all right, does he have the long speed down in the yard? Better run support. When we talk Witherspoon, or we talked um Gonzalez. Once again, it's not a lot of negatives with these guys. That's why, to me, those are the three that are the clear-cut first-round guys. Now, after that, it's a different conversation, but I feel like those three definitely separate themselves 
and that's why it's not a lot to critique or like pull from them just yet but we'll keep grinding the tape on it because that's what you're doing all season you watch tape on these dudes because if we're taking a guy at 17 we want to know a lot about him we want to know what he is going to do to help us in that uh vein but all three of those guys can definitely help us um if i had to think you got a ranking yeah if i rank them i actually i go witherspoon one. Oh no i go witherspoon one <laughs> I'm biased. I'm gonna go PZ too. Uh. <laughs> this is what I mean. The reason why I say I'm biased is this: I love you know I'm a man to man corner guy. I love a Joe Hayden over Richard Sherman. Like give me. Their- I feel like that's gonna fit us better yeah. too. Like that's my only real. thing. That's my only thing. I love a guy that can just in your face down at the down. Not saying that that PZ Junior can't do it. I just question at this level is that what he's best suited for? Whereas if he was in a Seattle defense, bro, I think he is all world. I think he kills in that type of defense. But with us, I'm just like, I think it still can work. I think he's still going to be fine if he's here. I would still love it. But that's my only thing that just makes me a little hesitant on it. And when you think of Gonzalez, when you think of Witherspoon, those two guys are very similar in their build. I just think that Witherspoon's the better player than Gonzalez. But for Joey Jr., he's very different than those two dudes in terms of his frame and how he plays. That's all. So, like I said, it's more personal preference for me, not necessarily that this guy is better than that guy, because literally all three of these dudes, if we was talking a different scheme, I'm like, yo, I think this guy's the better guy. But in terms of the type of defense that I'm liking, I'm just like, I kind of like the other one a little bit better. But all three going to cook on our defense, whichever one we get. I think all three cook here, but it's just personal preference for me. Sure. Any thoughts on players and I want we passed picks. on? I want picks, bro. I want turnovers. I want you, you know, that's bro. something that has been lacking like, over the last seriously. decade, but not last year. Right, but, but who, was catching last them? who was catching them? The corners. Minka. Minka, Sutton, yeah, Levi, Levi Wallace, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, I want my guys to create turnovers. Akella Witherspoon, we would say we create turnovers. Joe, give so a turnover. you're turn saying this more. is the Witherspoon we want. This is the right Witherspoon. Chill out. <laughs> don't, don't put Witherspoon against us like that, all right? No, don't, you, don't you say it like that, man. But I like, all, like I said, I like them all, bro. I do. But I, I like turnovers, man. They all dope, though. Selfishly, give me PZ Jr. Selfishly. Because I'm biased. We only need one corner. We only need one. We only need to pick one corner out of these first three picks, in my opinion. If it's Bring one back of, Sutton. If it's one of those three, I don't corner. think we could go wrong. If it's one of those three, I don't think we can go wrong. I'm not wrong. Some people are yeah. bringing up like, hey, could we do a two cornerback combo, like get a Joey Porter Jr., then get a Ringo with the second pick? I feel like you're only doing that if you don't bring back Sutton, Sutton yeah. and I don't think that's a wise thing to do. I think you want to bring back yeah. Sutton. You don't want to roll into this thing with two rookies and a Levi. Yeah, I ain't trying to do it. I ain't trying to roll into that. Um, but you got Pierre back. He's, he's your fourth guy. He's I'm your say, steady could, fourth guy. But, but, but what... If my lad in the slot, but but what if what if you move on from Pierre, you still bring back Sutton and you bring in two of these dudes? You bring one at 17, one at 32, you or can one only at play 17. So many one guys, we play a lot of DBs though. We play a ton of DBs. You just named off how many for that draft price though? The talent's there. I think it's too much. Fair because we're because now we're talking luxury, and if we're gonna do luxury, you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Deke said, y'all can't take two corners and not give me Jordan Addison. <laughs> he said, you basically, might, you can go, basically 30, you can go 32 and another I think another that's pick. why I want us to bring back like, Cam Sutton You, you so can't go too. there, though. You can't do that. <laughs> that is funny, bro. <laughs> what do you think of the guys we passed up? Gonzalez? <sighs> I guess Jordan that- Addison? That's really it in terms of the big Yeah, names. those only two that I think of off the top. Um intriguing the jordan addison one is obviously intriguing because what we talked about but i'm still a little bit more intrigued by the potential michael mayer than the jordan addison so that's why i can't all the way like trip on the jordan one and in in terms of gonzalez versus uh joey jr it's kind of like the etn and Najee battle like you remember when we talked about those two guys and it was Najee, etn and and, uh and was it jamal williams right yeah, no, 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 uh, not Jamal Williams. Um, oh my God, Javante, Javante Williams. Yeah, it was those three guys, and that's kind of how we ranked them. 
I think of these three guys in the same fashion, except I think all three go first round, whereas Javante went, what, the first pick of the second round or something like that? It was early. Yeah. I don't know if it was first. Probably top five But it was five like, picks. it was top five of that second round, so it was like all three of them dudes still went fairly right behind each other, ETN and Najee obviously going back to back. So, yeah, like I said, man, for me, man, if if it if both if the board falls like that, give me joy because of the bloodline, because of the connection. But if it's any other type of way, and with the spoons available, I wouldn't hate it if it was with a spoon, if that makes sense. <laughs>